Here is a cow eye we're going to dissect and find these same structures um, on. We have the sclera. Here is the connective tissue layer, a lot of uh, collagen, so it has kind of a grayish white appearance. This is the sclera. <clears throat> there is, uh, it's going to be too hard to see the con conjunctiva, so I won't worry about that. The cornea is here. In life it was perfectly clear, but now that it's been preserved, it's um, all grayed too, but you can see the cornea and the sclera. Um, on the cornea and the sclera, besides the cornea and the sclera, I want to point out the optic nerve. Here is the optic nerve. You can see that that tissue is different than all this muscle and fat around the outside. That's the optic nerve. And if I push on it, I can feel it's very rigid. It feels like a nerve right there. All right, now I've opened the cow eye, and the first thing we can see, although not much in this particular one, is this gel-like matter right here. This gel-like matter, which is kind of dehydrated in this one, is the vitreous body. You can see that right there? That is the vitreous body. Just gel-like matter. Here is the lens. Let me pull the lens out. Kind of uh, in, in covered with uh, some other structures, but here is the lens right here. And of course, in life, that was completely transparent. Let's see if we get that back. That's the lens right there. Now, if I slide this vitreous body out of the back of the eyeball, you will see. can actually see the retina. The retina is this very delicate yellow layer right there that I'm lifting up. That is the retina. That is uh, nervous tissue. That's why it kind of appears yellow and also why it just kind of tears as I try to lift it up. That is the retina where the rods and the cones are found. And that's what gives us vision. Now as I pull it up a little less carefully now that you've seen it, um, you will see something under it. Actually, where it's kind of hooked down there, that's the blind spot where all the nerves run into the uh, connective tissue ball that forms the sclera and emerge on the other side as the um, optic nerve. But underlying the yellow retina that I've pretty much removed, you can see a black layer right here, and that black layer is the choroid coat. That choroid coat is where we find all the blood vessels. That coating can actually pretty easily be lifted up. If I can get my probe between it and the sclera. There. I'll go in through there. And the choroid coat lifts up and you just back to the sclera, the connective tissue ball. Uh, ball. So here is the choroid coat right there. That is the choroid coat that I'm lifting up. The, where all the blood vessels are. Now peering down into the eye, you may be able to see something that looks like a radial tire going around there. That radial tire is the uh, ciliary body. And the next shelf down is the iris of the eye, and then you're into the pupil of the eye. And I think that pretty well does it for the sheep eyeball.